Hey kids, I'm Tim. And I'm Stevie. And welcome to Children's Church at Home. Did you have an amazing week? I sure did. And today's going to be another great day. Do you know why? Because we get to learn more about God and His Word. Hi guys, it's me and Clover again with our Children's Church. And Clover has one more question for us. So Clover, let's hear it. What's your question today? Well, I hear people say it's important to pray. And I have even heard the Lord's Prayer. I am wondering, what is prayer? And can you tell me more about praying, please? Mm, that's really good. Yes, I absolutely can. Thanks for asking that. Um, let's start with this. Do you know what this is? Any ideas what this might be? Hmm, well, it says to and from. It looks like a card. Well, I think it's, it's an invitation, like to a party. Yes, yes it is. Have you ever been invited to any parties before? Maybe you got an invitation in the mail? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. I love birthday parties. Yes, so do I. So, God has invited each of us to spend time with Him and to talk with Him. And God, He, he really wants you to talk to Him, so He invites us in any way to say prayers to Him. And when we talk to God, it is called praying. Wow, is it really that easy? That's awesome. What kinds of things can we pray for? Well, Clover, you can pray for like almost anything, really. Um, we can thank God. We can ask him for forgiveness if we do something kind of naughty. Okay, okay, I never do anything naughty. Oh, I'm sure you do, Clover. Uh, we could pray for ourselves if we, we want to get better at something, or we could pray for someone else. If someone's hurting or needs help or we just want to, you know, think of them. Hmm, I can think of a lot of people that, that I would want to pray for. Yeah, me too. And you know what? God is always listening to your prayers. And, um, you know, he always wants to help us. Oh, okay, that, that's good. Yeah, so I have an activity that can kind of help you at home or, you know, we'll do a couple with you here to think of things that you might want to pray for. All right, so do you think you can kind of help me get them started at home? Yeah, yeah, I want to I hear what um, that, that activity is. I have lots of things to pray for. All right, so if you get a sheet of paper and you write out your A, B, Cs, maybe someone needs to help you at home. So just A, B, C, all on a big sheet of paper. We're going to try to think of something with each letter of the alphabet that we could pray for. So everybody's could be totally different. Does that sound kind of fun? That's a good way to get a lot of ideas. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot of good, lot of ideas could be made with the ABCs. All right, so let's start with the first letter. Letter, what's the first letter of the alphabet? A! That is right. So what could we pray for that starts with the letter A? Hmm, what do you think? Hmm, I know that all, the word all starts with A. A-L-L. -L. So I want to pray for all kids. Ooh, good one. I want to pray for all kids too. Okay, what's the next letter in the alphabet? A, B. B is the next letter in the alphabet. And for B, I want to pray for B, B, B. Blessings. Ooh, that's a good one. So like all of the really good things that happen to us. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have A for all kids, B for blessings. What letter is next? A, B, C. Hmm, I can't think of anything that starts with, with the letter C. Can you? Hmm, C, K, K, K. This is a big word that I'm thinking of. I don't know if you're going to know what it means. I'm thinking of the word confession. Anyone know what confession means? Confession starts with a C and it's like, I want to pray for you to forgive me because I'm saying sorry for anything bad that I did or thought naughty things. So we've got all kids, we have blessings, we have confessions. Those are already a lot of things to pray for. I want you at home to keep going through the whole alphabet and see if you can think of all different things to pray for. Think you can do that at home? Do you think they can? Yeah, I think so. Um, so one more thing, what's the Lord's Prayer? Oh, the Bible talks about the Lord's Prayer. This is a prayer that was said to teach us how to pray. Jesus was trying to teach us how to pray. It was kind of like an example. 
Um, so it's called the Lord's Prayer, and he told us how to pray. Should we, should we say this together? We'll end it with the Lord's Prayer. Okay, fold our hands. We'll say the Lord's Prayer together. Are you ready? Clover is going to lead us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us our day, our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Very good. Yes, that, um, that is the Lord's Prayer. All right, so for you at home, you can have two things. You can print something off that is the Lord's Prayer, and you make a chain. So it's going to be all these chains that you stick together that will make the Lord's Prayer. So that's something you print off at home. Otherwise, um, you can make an invitation. So I'll show you mine. I showed it to you earlier. You've got a sheet of paper. You're going to fold it to make an invitation. And you're going to decorate it really, really nice. So it says, to you, so to me, to anybody, from God. So God's inviting you to your party of prayer. And then on the inside, what time is it at? Any time. Where is it? Any place. And the date, when is it? Any day. So this is an invitation from God to you that you can pray anytime and any day and any place. Today for our song, we're gonna be singing Go Tell It on the Mountain. Go tell it on the mountain Over the hills and everywhere Go tell it on the mountain That Jesus Christ is born Down in a lowly manger The humble Christ was born And God sent us salvation That blessed Christmas morn Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain, that Jesus Christ is born. The shepherds feared and trembled, when low above the earth, rang out an angel chorus, proclaiming Jesus' birth. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain, that Jesus Christ is born. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain, that Jesus Christ is born. Awesome, thank you. Let's fold our hands and say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Have a great week. I hope you had an awesome time with us. I can't wait to see you again next week.